Please welcome Sean Layden. Hey guys. Good evening everyone and, and welcome. And thank you for making the time tonight to, uh, to come to church. This, this fulfills your obligation for the coming Sunday for those of you who need to know that. Um, but thank you, thank you for coming out. Um, it's great to see the congregation as large as it is tonight under this single tent. Um, and for those of you who may be a bit apprehensive because you remember that movie Kingsman, <laughs> this, it, just, it doesn't end that way. It doesn't end that way. So, but no, again, thank you. Um, and as you can see from this evening, um, here again at PlayStation, we've decided to mix it up a little bit in the way that we're doing our E3 presentation this year. You know, we look at what the stories have we tell to tell and and, and the things that we want to impart to our fans here with us and their fans uh, on the live feed worldwide. And that changes our design, design ideas around what we can do for this show. So tonight, we're going to have, rather than a bombardment of new creative, we're going to take all of you uh, on a journey deeper into some of the key titles we've talked about before, but we're going to talk about them in a different way tonight, a, a deeper way, so you can learn about what's going on with these games and what's coming up in the future. 
You know, what we look at here um, at Worldwide Studios with inside Sony Interactive Entertainment, we really want to take our love for gaming and make it sing, and make it sing very loudly. Um, it's a gaming industry it's sometimes called, but certainly inside our studios, we see gaming as a vocation. It's a calling. It's what we do, it's what we have to do. Our teams of creatives and studios and designers, they have stories to tell and things they want to show you and places they'd like to take you. That's what we're trying to do here at PlayStation. Uh, this coming year is going to be all about those kind of games that we can deliver to you in a way that's going to blow your minds. And tonight, we're beginning here in this tent, we've, uh, this church tent we've created here uh, in Los Angeles to let you start that journey with us and let us tell you uh, our stories for the next hour or so. So without further ado, it is my great honor and my unique privilege to invite to the stage and introduce to you Gustavo Santorea. Sadie and I shot her down Went back home, jumped into bed 44 pistol under my head I woke up in the middle of my heart was down A hex in the buggy standing on the right Jets and gamers standing around Taking little Sadie to a very high I began to think Thank you. 
I hate these things. Tell me about it. Your old man really laid into me today. What happened? Another big lecture about my patrols. Don't go here, don't go there. It's funny how involved he gets whenever you're scheduled to go out. Yeah. She's, uh, but not quite the show. I give you guys two weeks until we back together. Not gonna happen. Did she, uh, say something to you? Make it one week. Ellie! Hey! What took you so long? Oh, I'm here, aren't I? Tina? Jesse. Hey, don't forget, we leave at first light, so get some rest. Yes, sir. You're such a dick. Come on. Why don't you start with me? OK, I have a very serious question for you. How bad do I smell? Like a hot pile of garbage. Oh, OK. Oh, how about that? Gross. <laughs> you love it. Every guy in this room is staring at you right now. Maybe they're staring at you.
Wolf. She came through here. Damn it. Double back. Go.
That was a new look at The Last of Us Part 2. We're here live in Los Angeles at the PlayStation E3 Showcase. We're taking a quick intermission while folks move uh, along to the next part of the experience. We'll have a little bit more to share on that later. And I am joined by my good friend, Ryan Clements. Hello, Mr. Schumann. It's How are so, you? It, I'm good. It's such a pleasure to be here at the PlayStation Showcase. Uh, and it's going to be a huge night for Worldwide Studios a little later when the showcase resumes. Uh, and what better guest to have for joining us about Worldwide Studios than the chairman of Worldwide Studios, <laughs> Mr. Sean Layden. <laughs> Hello, Hi guys. sir. Yeah, good. good to be here. I thought you were just on stage. How did you get up here so fast? We've created this pneumatic tube that I was dropped into you and shot right, right across to the studio here. Right yes. over here. Well, it's yes. good to have you here. Well, it's so. great to be here. And I think I was a very, uh, uh, a very powerful start for our E3 program for this year. That's right, and there's much more to come, but I do want to zero in on The Last of Us Part Two yeah. here just for a moment. You know, as chairman of Worldwide Studios, you work very closely with Naughty Dog. These guys need no introduction. Indeed. And I'm curious, uh, from your perspective, where is their head at when it comes to developing this game? Where's their, where's their head at? I mean, they are, they are everywhere. They're looking at um, what can do in the next iteration of The Last of Us series. And I think what we saw tonight, I mean, that, that piece of, 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 of content was, was so impactful. I mean, the whole relationship between Ellie and Dina going into the combat sequence really shows that um, they're pulling out all the stops over at Naughty Dog, and they're going to have a very broad and ranging game that's not going to make you only, only work at it as a player, but you're going to have to just think as a person what, 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 what you're coming up against. I can't wait to see more of that, and that was first gameplay we saw there of The yeah. Last of Us Part Two, looking obviously incredible. And speaking of incredible, I mean, Worldwide Studios lately, I mean, it's just been unbelievable. Horizon, you had God of War, which needs no introduction, and Detroit, Become Human. I mean, what is the secret, and what are you doing over there at Worldwide Studios? What's going on there? <laughs> The rule number one is do no harm, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. In a lot of ways, my job is just to move the boulders out of the road to make sure that creative talent can get where they need to go, you know, provide backup, provide scope, you know, provide generalized, you know, advice about where we can take this as, a, as, as an industry and, 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 as, and as, a, as, as a gaming culture. But um, honestly, we've got 13 studios worldwide. Uh, we try to give them as much creative control as possible and just help support them through to their vision. That's kind of what we've been trying to do here for the last uh, dozen years or so with Worldwide Studios. And I think right now, certainly in the PS4 era, you're seeing a lot of that coming into, uh, coming into play right now. That's great to hear that. And uh, you know, I mean, speaking about making fans happy, I mean, there's, I think there's a question that I've been getting a whole lot, and it has to do with God of War. You know, right. this is a celebrated game. It's sold extremely well. It has a, a huge legion of fans. And one of the things I wanted to mention was, you know, I get a lot of tweets mm -hmm. about New Game Plus. Right. You know, is this right. is this something that you and Santa Monica Studio are, are evaluating for God of War? You know, it's crazy. Uh, with the advent of social media, we got we get a lot of real time feedback right. from the fans and the community, and we listen to that. And God knows my Twitter feed is is filled up with a lot of stuff that <laughs> we could talk about here or not talk about at all. But it's all important. We take it all all seriously. And New Game Plus was something that came through really strong and really hard through that kind of feedback loop. And I'm happy to say today that the teams are working on it, and we should have some more updates on that. We'll put that through the blog, but it's going to happen. All right, definitely. As someone, as someone who miraculously finished God of War with a two-year-old at home, that makes me very happy. I will somehow find more scary, time. That's kind of scary, but okay. I will find time to get, he wasn't watching. <laughs> okay, thank I wanna, God. I want to confirm <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. that. Kids don't try this at home. Asleep, uh, yeah. but yeah, thank you so much, Sean, and it's great to hear that you and, and the amazing team at Santa Monica Studio are making that happen. Hey, if we so. can create uh, functionality and features that allow people to spend more time in the worlds we build, that's by definition a good thing. Excellent. Fantastic, so New Game Plus, that is confirmed, that is coming to God of yep. War. We'll have full details on PlayStation Blog shortly. We have a lot more to talk about too. Yeah, and actually, Sean, I wanted to ask you about that. About a month ago, mm -hmm. uh, you did something a little bit out of the ordinary for our team, and you kind of came out and talked about the four main games mm -hmm. that we would be highlighting uh, tonight's PlayStation Showcase. I was wondering what the thought process was there. Well, you know, every year we try to let the, the stories we have to tell design the experience we're going to create. And this year, we felt that um, what we really wanted to do is take people on a journey deep into the content, deep into the four big pillar games that we're working on right now, um, and get them to see a bit more about um, the stories you're trying to tell and, and the way it's going to be expressed and what they get out of it. It's a really wide range of, um, of uh, titles there, anything from uh, The Last of Us 2, which you saw right now, through Death Stranding and, and, and Spider-Man and Ghost. So um, this year, I wanted people to know that don't come here expecting to have some big flashy new idea come out or, or some big surprise come out. Come here and sit with us and walk with us as we get through to see the, uh, the background stories and deep inside of the games we're working on. Wonderful, and we do have a lot more coming from those Worldwide Studios games in the showcase mm -hmm. later tonight. Do you have uh, any personal 
games that you are most excited about? Well, they're all fabulous, and I think the teams are really crushing it right across the board. But, Fair enough. But one thing I would say is uh, there's one of the games that we're having out today that will be playable in three months and available in stores, and, that and that's it. our favorite web slinger. Of course. Spider-Man. So course. we're going to see a lot of that tonight, and I think uh, the folks at home should be happy with what they're going to get. Awesome. Thank you, Sean. Sean, thank you so much for dropping by. Always a pleasure to trade notes with the chairman of Worldwide Studios. It's great to see you guys. I'll head back to the pneumatic tube station, though. All yes, right, please, please. do. All right. and Wear we, the helmet. <laughs> we do have a lot more in store coming up in just a few minutes as the E3 showcase continues, but in the meantime, we also have some other updates for you while we wait during this short intermission. So I say we kick it off with a look at the latest from the world of Call of Duty. Black Maps and Call of Duty Black Ops 3 only when you pre-order Call of Duty Black Ops 4 from PlayStation Store. Welcome back. We are having the PlayStation E3 showcase kicking off in just a few more minutes. We're in a short intermission period here, but we've got some good stuff to talk about. And we've got some good friends as well. Yeah. Meredith Molinari and Ramon Russell. Welcome. Hi. What's happening? That's good right. to have you guys back. It's yeah, good to be good back. To be Friendly yeah. faces <laughs> right before the showcase. Absolutely. Yeah, excellent. So I say we keep this moving here. And uh, when it comes to Call of Duty, we know that a bunch of remastered maps from Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 are making their way to Call of Duty Black Ops 4 this October on launch day. But what we just learned here is that those maps, those classic maps, are, are coming to Black Ops 3 as well for those who pre-order Black Ops 4 on PlayStation Store. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Um, but what if I don't own <laughs> Call of Duty Black Ops 3? Well, that's where it gets a little more interesting, my friend. Oh. So tonight, we are actually doing a surprise PlayStation Plus game drop, and that is going to be Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 Ooh. is coming to PlayStation Plus later tonight. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, very nice. This is why I love E3, because not only do we get to share awesome news with our, our audience, but PlayStation Plus subscribers get a little treat. Get a little extra a little, little tasty treat. treat. Right. Little, yeah. little mid-E3 supply drop for yeah. you there. <laughs> <laughs> there you, <go>. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've been sharing a lot of good news. We got to share five really cool announcements last week when we did our countdown, kind of ramping up for tonight's big showcase. Mm -hmm. That's right. We had the countdown to E3, and that was five game reveals and updates over a span of five days. A lot of great stuff announced. Let's take a quick look back at the highlights.
Welcome back. We're just a few minutes away from the E3 PlayStation Showcase. I mean, I, when I say a few minutes, I mean we're really <laughs> <laughs> So let's keep moving here. There was a lot of great stuff here. Oh, and we can see the crowd is seated. Uh, the people are about ready to go. This show's about to continue, about to, to move into the big event. Yeah, it was great to see the countdown stuff, but I do think that there's like maybe one more thing we can sneak in there before we cut away to the showcase. Yeah. What do you think? You yeah, let's, so? let's squeeze it in. Let's, let's squeeze, let's it, squeeze in. it in. Okay, so this next franchise boasts a huge loyal community of nearly 6 billion hours. Incredible stat. Yeah, they play that so much. A lot. They do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we're going to take a, a first look at the next chapter right now. Destiny 2 Oof. Forsaken is coming out September 4th on PS4. A lot of great enhancements and content for that one. And uh, yeah, it looks it looks really good. There's a lot of buzz about that Gambit mode coming up. And guess what? If you're at E3, you can play it at our booth. Not too bad. <laughs> but Not I, too bad. there's barely any time because we're about to get to the showcase. That's right. We are really seconds away when it comes down to it from the rest of a PlayStation's E3 showcase. Thank you so much for watching. We've got a lot more in store tonight. Um, but for now, I think it's almost time. Let's I think go. it's almost time. Should yeah, we get you, to it? I think why keep people waiting? Let's get to it. We have so much okay. more to cover. Okay. Let's do it. Got a lot more in store. Yeah. So let's check it out live right now.
temples close. Nobu, come! Late. You're impatient. Where's the monk? The bastards beat me to him. Now they're torturing him at the temple. Come on. You think the monk's a hero? We need him, Masako. Sago Bridge. We strike quietly. Or they kill the monk. I'll guard the exits. Just get them. Sushi mag. I had stuff off your Please, I do not understand. Ulvath we. Chamagot unha me. Ulf me che avensakt. 
Die Obel hat noch. Die Obel Reinforcements. We have to move. <laughs> Masako! Stand aside, Jin. You betrayed my family. Run! We fight. The Mongols win. They already won. The oldest house is a shifting place. There are rules and rituals. You can keep traveling deeper.
Relax, everything on Can't be here. I'm putting you under arrest. Money's in my account. Always a pleasure. Attention, all citizens. Due to the citywide outbreak. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. Whatever it takes to save this city. Surprised you made it this far. Need info on my extraction. Survival's your responsibility. God damn it. Will you help me? Of course. It's an impressive display of strength. <laughs> but we never meant for this to happen. <laughs> It's coming back! From Squatch Games, and the co-creator of Rick and Morty. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Bathtub Guy, and we're here at E3 to take some looks at this new game I'm about to show you right now. Trover Saves the Universe. Let's give it a look. Oh, whoa, whoa, there's some action platform stuff in this little piece of shit. I'm the bathtub guy, I'm always in my bathtub, but you know, it's not about me right now, it's about this game. Whoa, look at that. That's exciting footage I just saw. Oh, I'm playing it right now. Look at me. I'm a cool cucumber over here playing this cool game. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Somebody call 711 because that's the emergency dial number for this in this re weird part of the galaxy. Because this is a sci-fi based thing. Help! He's got electrocuted! Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. <laughs> Why are you so happy? Because we get to be pirates again. Yep, you always did like this world. Still, it's a real shame we don't have a bigger ship.
the man who delivers. Tears. A chiral allergy. So, you have dooms, like me. What's your level? I've got the extinction factor, but I think you got me beat. You can see them, right? No, but I can sense them. Want to come work for me? Must be tough out here on your own. And I can't help you with that. I make deliveries. That's all. The silent, faulty feeling. The silent fault. The silent, faulty feeling. The silent fault. The silent fault to the ceiling. I saw. to ten. Watch yourself. Those things never stay gone for long. The time for fast forwards, whatever it touches. But it can't wash everything away. The past just won't let go. I'll see you around.
some border bridges. Sam, what's your status? Corellium density is still increasing. My status is fucked. There's tons of them. Can you sit out the rain? No. They're closing in on my position. I have to move before they realize I'm in here. Sam, if one of those things eats you, it'll trigger a boy down. You'll come back, sure. But the surrounding area will still be a crater. I got an idea. Keeps the time fall away. You're too late. You still don't know who I am, do you? Who are you? but I can't reach them over radio. Their comms must be down. What's your status? Already here. Yuri, I thought you said it was secure. It was. Let's go. Maybe it's not as bad as it looks. Love the optimism. But in my experience, when it looks bad, it's usually worse. Look out! Yuri! 
You okay? Yeah. Welcome to the party! Just in time for the fireworks! <laughs> Looks like we made parole, boys! I'm out! Electro? Why is he letting everyone out? I'll head for the main control center and see how bad the situation is. Got it. I'll go join the party. Everyone just quietly go back into your cells and lock the door behind you. Okay? Please? eight years. No biggie. Electro must be working for someone. <laughs> <laughs> this is too good to be true. Scorpion, can you hold on a minute? I was in the middle of a phone call and it was busy. <laughs> Spider-Man, I thought this was a chase! Gotta stop this guy. If you tell me who you're working for, I'll go easy on you! Can't stop it! But I'm flattered that you still try! Nobody ever takes me up on that offer! How do you like my new suit? Dashing. Where'd you get it? It's an exclusive club. Have to 
do this at all if you don't want to. We definitely want to. Ah! That was the PlayStation Ooh. E3 showcase. A lot to take in. There was a ton of great Worldwide Studios titles. We actually got a little more to share here coming right up. We're going to have first live gameplay of Marvel Spider-Man right here just a couple of minutes. We have a new game to announce. We have some other stuff to talk about, too. What a show. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. my gosh. Pop highlights. Go. Oh. <laughs> Ghost of There's no time. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Ghost of Tsushima looked absolutely incredible. Those that color palette was in yeah. insane. Yeah. Did you grow up with samurai movies? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. It's just the embodiment. I'm ready. Suck a punch. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Meredith. Oh, Resident Evil 2. Come on, yeah. RE2. That looked so good. I know a lot of us fans have been waiting for that one. Um, and there was like a moment where you're like, I'm not really sure I know what this is. And then as soon as he turned his head, I was like, yes. And you get that, oh, that, that, so that good. RE4 style over the shoulder camera yes. action. That's kind of like the, the ultimate dream if they were going to remake Resident Evil 2. That's what I would want. So uh, awesome stuff, yeah. Ryan. Nice and gory. <sighs> yeah. as, nice and gory. as Meredith said backstage, Death Stranding. <laughs> I now we now have more questions. Yes, <laughs> yes, more Wait, questions. More but questions. It, it looks as if I mean I don't want to make any promises, but it looks as if we were getting kind of an allusion to a lot of gameplay in yeah. there and kind of what the character of Sam is going to be doing in this very unusual world that is inhabited by some very unusual and scary things. And people consume strange and unusual strange yeah, and yeah, bugs. Um, that, yeah, and that ba was... Babies continue to be a theme. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a myth. <laughs> no. don't, know, don't know what we're going to find out there, but yeah. So a ton of great stuff in the show overall. I mean, Neo 2, that was a crowd pleaser. That was one that was great to see get out there. We got an update on Kingdom Hearts 3. We got a lot of other great stuff. We had a new Remedy game. Oh, Remedy yeah, on control. the way, Control. Mm -hmm. Really stylish trailer, really looking to just, I want to learn more about that one. I mean, it just looks like wizards and like, I don't know what I was <laughs> looking at, but it was, it was really stylish. I would expect no less from Remedy. But I got to say, I think my favorite was Marvel Spider-Man. Spider-Man so looked yeah. in, that looked that incredible. That was incredible. We had these legendary villains are back. We had Rhino, Electro, Vulture. I'm missing some. Who else were there? I uh, mean, just one after Shocker, another. Uh, that was, uh, yeah. Electro. So no, oh, Spider-Man was not yeah. a good space. No, it was, it was pretty rough. It was pretty rough. So uh, we're going to see live gameplay of that in just a minute or two here. But I say we actually take this moment to announce a new game. What do you think? Let's do okay, it. do it. So nonchalant. Do <laughs> <laughs> Hits keep coming. Yeah. So, so you guys know From Software. Absolutely. Yes. I'm aware of them. They have created a lot of great games over the year. Well, they have been busy working on a PlayStation VR game. Oh, VR. And it is quite a departure from the kinds of games that we sort of know them for. But it's very, very interesting. And I'd like to see the first footage of that right now. Thank you. 
Aren't you excited? You're going to be a fairy. And live in the world where time stands still. Where nobody can see what you're up to ever again. Okay, Decine, that's uh, from Software's new title Ooh. coming to PlayStation VR. Quite a departure, very artistic. Still don't know a ton about how it actually plays yet, but certainly a compelling debut, I would say. And speaking of compelling, let's get to that <laughs> Spider-Man. <laughs> it is time. We have some folks from Insomniac We sure here. Right. do. Brian, Adam, gentlemen, hey, welcome how to you the program. Doing? It's so great to have you here. I just have to say, first of all, thank you guys for giving us your time. Of course, yeah, of course. Evening. Happy to be here. Um, and also, congratulations, kind of closing out some of the show there with uh, Marvel Spider-Man. How does it feel? It's uh, surreal. We've been working on it for a while, so yeah. uh, it's nice to uh, be here. And obviously, we showed you people wanted villains, so we decided we'll give you a lot of villains. And, now, uh, <laughs> and the next question is, our next question is, uh, can we play the open world? And Adam's gonna show off the That's right. uh, New York City. I mean, I don't know, Sid. What do you think? Should let's let's dive in. Yeah. Let's what are we talking right. about here? Yeah. 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 Get in there. So we're we're going to boot up the demo here. And this is essentially one of the first playable demos that you guys are going to be showing off. Yeah, of, uh, that's right. Of Spider -Man. Pretty much. So, I mean, if you think about so ahead, the, yes, right. the, the game is, you know, a lot of people are like, last year's E3 was like, well, was that was that like just a linear level? No, like that's our that was our Manhattan. That's our New York City. Well, and it doesn't have to be on like, a the main story mission. But in between, like, something like you saw in the raft, or we showed that back at last E3, you can just swing around yeah, New York City right and have here. fun. Let's let's go, let's go to that footage because we uh, have it running here on the uh, the main monitor. We'll go to it in just a second. This is the beauty of the live environment. Yeah, this. Oh God. Oh, this, so this is great. I got my own little TV. This is perfect. Yeah, I got it all. Yeah, it's, it's, Adam's doing a fantastic job so far. It's been really good. So first of all. You're actually playing this right now. Yeah. That's right. And I, I do want to emphasize how yeah, beautiful <laughs> this game is. Oh, thank you. Um, well, yeah, Brian, tell me a little bit about what you guys want to show us uh, uh, this evening. So I think, I mean, the big thing is, again, you know, I think that part of the Spider-Man Spider fantasy is to swing around New York City and, you know, to have, you know, not only just a great story, but have a bunch of different activities in that world. And we want to, you know, give people who attend E3 an opportunity to experience that. So, you know, obviously we, it's a big narrative driven experience but at the same time a part of that superhero fantasy especially that spider-man experience is living uh within new york city and seeing that so um you know adam is one of uh he's one of our combat pro players uh because he's a combat designer and uh <laughs> again he's just showing off some really awesome stuff that um as you get better with the game obviously you know we wanted to have a pick up a play field but at the same time have a level of mastery and to really uh, show off the improvisation that we've really been uh, talking about a lot since uh, we announced the game. I'm digging this, like, sticking dudes to walls and to the floor and stuff. That looks really, yeah, really satisfying. Yeah, I mean, th I think the, the thing that's been really fun in these last, you know, I would say last six months since uh, we got back from the holiday break was every week I feel like I'll take the game home or I'll be playing one night and then I'll come in and say, wow, guys, I didn't know you could do that. So I think as, there's a lot of that, there's that sandbox nature to it as well. So, I mean, obviously you can, you know, we have, you know, we're going to teach you mechanics, but we want you to experiment with, you know, his acrobatics, his webs, his gadgets, his suit powers. So combining all that stuff really allows for a lot of different gameplay and a lot of, you know, Spider-Man's a very expressive character. We want players to be able to express that, whether it's in traversal or in combat. 
It's gorgeous. Too. These animations, sorry, these animations are just blowing my mind. Your, your studio has kind of been renowned for character animation and for, you know, just fluid motion. I mean, did you guys take a lot of lessons from your previous games and really, like, hone in on those when you were developing this? Oh, I mean, I think animation's definitely been one of the hallmarks of our of our company, you know, from, you know, from Spyro to Ratchet to Sunset Overdrive. Yep. And, I mean, you know, I remember when um, the Sunset Overdrive reviews came out, one person actually wrote, it would be great to see Insomniac make a Spider-Man game. And I was like, see, see, we should make it. <laughs> see? And I you think we you just, waved your phone around it, it, to the whole studio. Exactly. We took that kind of mentality and we just injected our kind of our personality. It, but also, um, you know, what do people want, desire from a Spider-Man experience? So, you know, it was really great as I remember um, probably around the end of the year, uh, end of last year, someone wrote an article about the top things they want to see in Spider-Man. And they said they want to feel like an Insomniac game. So... I think that's the, the thing we've been really layering on in this last year is to have that. Um, it feels like an Insomniac game as much as it does a Spider-Man game. And I love this traversal. I mean, just the fluidity of just moving over great distances very quickly. It looks like a lot of fun just moving around. And that's when you know you've got a great game. Okay, so the, <laughs> okay, the there, you so you know how I kind of said like exper experimenting, but like sometimes you know, I mean, game development. You know, <laughs> we're you know we're you know we're in meetings a lot, and then sometimes you just need to like take a break. And what I used to find myself doing was just swinging around New York City. It was almost like therapeutic. It's just kind of like when I play other games, I just uh, walking or running or um, or even taking a car. It's just it feels so more natural now just to swing around, swing around like Spider-Man. So it's it's definitely one of those things that has that again, just like combat, that pick and play feel. But we want players to have a level of mastery. Um, <laughs> as they play and get what better. What was that? Hold on a second. That's okay. very interesting what so, you're saying there. So like but, uh, I said, so Adam showed off, I think he showed off the tripwire. It's basically yep. a gadget that you can either attach to a piece of geometry and the enemies walk by, they'll get like grabbed and sucked back. But you can also attach it to an, an enemy and if an enemy walks by, they kind of slam into each other. That is amazing. This yeah. is so cool. What's this focus meter about? Uh, yeah, so the, the focus meter is basically, it's, it's kind of a, a risk reward. As you build focus, you can use it to he heal. <laughs> Since having a religious it's experience. It's just looks incredible. <laughs> okay, thank you. That's, the team works really, really hard on it. Really, really hard. Clearly. And the idea is the focus is kind of a way yeah. to, you can, it's a risk reward. Like I said, you can either heal yourself or you can kind of, um, if you get built, fill up the bar a certain way, you can actually pull off a finishing move. So, you know, as, as you play the game, you kind of say, well, do I want to maybe heal myself real quick, or do I want to wait for that really extravagant move to kind of take the guy out instantly? Got so, it. Yeah. Brian, a question for you is, uh, obviously Spidey has, as with his experience being under the mask for so many years now, yep, eight years. Your story, yeah. eight years. Thank you. you got to be precise. I got it. <laughs> People, the first, one of the first questions I get is, like, is in the origin story? I'm like, no. That was no, like, after we decided that the webs were definitely attached to the buildings, we decided it's not going to be an origin story. But, uh, but, you know, back to the combat, I mean, Spidey's experience, he has access to a lot of different techniques and technologies. How do you balance out his experience with the fact that you don't want to overwhelm a player with options, right? You want to make it approachable. You know, I, I really, that, that comes down to our, our combat team, our traversal team. Like and this our, guy right here. Like Adam. <laughs> and really going, okay, you know, kind of um, handing that stuff out over the course of the game, you know, finding those right spots where you kind of, okay, we're going to teach you how to punch and how to kick and how to punch guys up in the air and use your webs. But then we lay on, layer on things like gadgets and then the suits and the suit powers. And it just, it's kind of giving over time. If we just, you know, one thing with some like E3, you know, we want you to feel great, right? But there's a lot to learn really quickly. Um, so we it just, you know, normal course development, we kind of find those spots in the game where it makes most sense to teach those mechanics. And then as the game goes on, we want you to master those because the game's only gonna get harder. Yeah, absolutely. Sid, That's what great. do you think? I got to say, this game is Beautiful, looking right? absolutely gorgeous. This is, uh, I mean, this is just, I mean, it was looking spectacular to begin with, but this is on a totally different level. And oh I man, can just we're see seeing that, so much. I can see that polish, though. <laughs> that's the thing. And that's what comes out in that f final few months of development. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if you guys, I mean, you guys watched the press conference, right? Sure. You saw all those games, those first party games, and they, uh, they all have a level of polish. And to be um, in a c press conference with the likes of a Naughty Dog, a Sucker Punch, uh, Kojima Productions, uh, just we are very honored to be and we know there's a certain level of this polish that people expect from a playstation game especially your first party off. game so we want to be considered um right up there 
Well, yeah. and not to mention also from the Marvel, you know, Marvel of fans course. expect to be have that perfect experience. Of course. May, may I just ask real quickly, you know, as as we're starting to wind down here, from a from a personal perspective, I mean, what's it like for you and for the team to be able to kind of look up at the big screen and see your game after after all that time? And well, all that work? Uh, I'm known as a crier, so it it, <laughs> it, it, it 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 takes a lot for me not to get choked up. Uh, like right now, they're playing the theme song to the game in the background as we're sitting here, oh, and yeah. uh, I. I mean, this is an amazing industry, and uh, to be part of it is one thing, but to work on something you truly love is something that when you were a little kid thinking, oh my God, could I ever work on a Spider-Man game, let alone be in video games, is um, it's just absolutely surreal. I use that word a lot when I describe working on this game, and to work with a group like Sony and work with Marvel, and that feeling is so felt by so many Insomniac, so uh, we couldn't be prouder. And the support we've gotten across lie. the board, not only from uh, Sony, right Marvel, now. but also the fans has been spectacular. Nice Brian, uh, but it just looks incredible. Much. I mean, there's no other word for it. <laughs> and uh, You're flabbergasted. You're, yeah, I really am, it's, it's stunning. I mean, just look at that. How can you not be blown away by that? <laughs> um, but we do have a limited amount of time here. Brian, you're an industry veteran. You've been in the industry yes. for a long time. Yeah. I know this is a lifelong dream for you working yes, on is. this game. And I want to thank you and Insomniac for making thank it. Thank you for having us. And yeah, for coming thank you by for well. the opportunity. Spider-Man was so awesome that it broke my mic, and I have to use the stick <laughs> mic now. I, <laughs> I, mean, I thought you just wanted to look different from all of us. Yeah, I just wanted to yeah. stand out a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, Sid, actually, I think a little late, or a little earlier, we were able to maybe get some footage of some of the amazing that's right. experiential stuff that's going on with Spider-Man. Right? I mean, there really is something incredible going on here uh, at this PlayStation E3 showcase. I mean, it's, it's on a scale and a scope that we have just never seen before. And so we have people here, they're uh, playing the game. Uh, we have a lot of hands-on sessions for folks that are here for the showcase. And uh, just, it, it, the game looks great, but I just love the way this whole, oh, I know that, I know her. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> There's familiar faces popping up That's on the right. stream. But I mean, it's just, it's a great, great event here. And it's just, I wish we could get everybody in here to try this out and to just see uh, what has been sort of constructed. Uh, with Spider-Man and with uh, actually another game we're about to talk about. Yeah, we're Ghost about to, we're about to talk about Ghost of Tsushima. Why don't you? Yeah, Ghost you of Tsushima. Yeah, we have some. We sneakily snuck on a few uh, amazing people onto our program as a helicopter goes by to mark this uh, ama <laughs> amazing <laughs> moment. Uh, Nate Fox and J well Jason Connell to my left and Nate Fox, uh, gentlemen, welcome. Thank you so much for coming yeah, over. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having us. Yeah. It's, it's really good for you to be here, and I'm so glad you're able to give us some of your time. Yeah. Can I just ask, uh, kind of what we were just talking about? with the team from Insomniac. What's it like for, for you as, as individuals and as developers to be able to kind of be a part of, of all of this? It's amazing. <laughs> I mean, you try so hard to make a video game that you can get lost in and then to come to E3 where they actually build your game. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of a dream come true that way. Yeah. How about oh, you? Oh, man. It's, uh, it's, it's amazing. You know, people are excited. You, know, you see all the other projects, and everybody's just stoked about all the different games that are up there. And, you know, we put a lot of heart and soul into it. So it's just that moment where it shows it is, is just great. So I, I think exciting. we should show it because I think we, we, should. we have I, some I think, of the footage. I from think the we showcase. do have a little bit of footage uh, hanging around here. So let's check it out. If yeah, we can absolutely. Just hanging around. <laughs> just, you know, it's just doing its thing. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this game, first of all, just gorgeous. I mean, the art direction is really coming through in an incredible way. But also the technical uh, sophistication as well. I mean, we're going to see here in a minute. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Get into some combat. Yeah, we have some yeah. highlights from the showcase just showing yeah. off for the first time. Look yeah. at this. Look at this look. Yeah. I mean, this is gorgeous. Look at this look. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. I'm yeah. flabbergasted. And, and maybe, I don't know, Nate or Jason, who wants to take this, but it seems like in these moments of gameplay, mm -hmm. there's small vignettes of like a classic samurai <laughs> film in which you really focus in the the player experience yes. the visuals the music all the cues seem to align in, yeah. in harmony i mean that must all be very intentional i can only assume it is a uh, it is an orchestra you know yes. like it's you've got to take all these elements and uh for you know even that opening attack that ei attack it's about building space before it having the leads go by uh, the drum up of music beforehand and that's what makes it, you know, really powerful. So How do you coordinate all those systems? Like, uh, you know, we we run in strike teams. You know, we got a lot of multidisciplinary, awesome people working on it. So yeah, but I mean, you watch a lot of samurai movies. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> I mean, that's not the real answer. That was actually, the real <laughs> trick. yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yes. there's yeah. that that quiet before the uh, the storm 
it's oh, pretty key to the genre. So yeah, just trying to make it real in a video game is our goal. And yeah. I know that authenticity is something that's tremendously important to, to your yeah. entire studio it is. in this game. Do you want to share a little bit about some of the steps, the great steps that your team yeah. went through creating that? Yeah, you know, I feel like we're in a super unique position because, you know, we're part of Sony, we have uh, J Studio, we have uh, um, something that would be a, a producer on our project from J Studio. Uh, we, we hired some cultural guides. Like I, you know, I feel like we're in this like you know unique position <laughs> to help us help us create this thing. Oh, the Joji screen. That one's a popular one. This, and, uh, this, this, this knocked scene. me. Off. This knocked me. Sorry off to interrupt. Me. No, this no, this is that's interrupt worthy right <laughs> okay, there. Okay, so l l can we talk a little bit maybe about how you're approaching the the sword play? Yeah. I think that's a really interesting concept here. Like, I, you don't have to get too far into it. I know the game's still deep in development, yeah. but tell us a little bit about that. Well, we're going for lethal precision. Um, where there's not a lot of wasted energy. Um, it's very trained experts, and so every strike, you know, could end a life. So you want to make sure that uh, each one counts. Yeah. I mean, right now we're allowing these characters to kind of circle each other and talk to each other because um, it's not just kind of a furball, right? It's studying kendo. We've brought in experts to kind of show us yep. how to do it. And, and it shows. It looks like maybe your team spent 400 years <laughs> making this one scene. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the thing that I would yeah. like our audience to remember is that every leaf, every flicker of flame has to be hand placed by someone at some point in time. Unless you had a giant machine AI do it all by itself. Maybe I don't know. I, yeah, no, I mean, we we have a great team. It's uh, you know creating those beautiful moments. The the lethal combat that was the goal. Like having the and having the you know visceral combat that was our goal. Yeah, I mean, it's so great to have you guys here. We we do have a few more things to get to, right, Sid? We do. What thank do you, you think? so much uh, for yeah, joining yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, thank, yeah, you. Yeah, thank you, guys. No, yeah. Thank you for being a part We're, of tonight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ghost of Tsushima looking mighty, mighty impressive. And, uh, Wait, should we look at some of that, that stuff? Yeah, so there's a whole experience here built out for folks who are here Surprise. at the PlayStation E3 Showcase. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to get a little footage out here. Oh, here we go. There we go. Look at this. So this was... Oh, this cool. was that period of time, I know some of these people, this is the period of time when um, earlier on when we had that intermission, we had to make a little bit of time for folks to walk from one part of the experience to the next. So um, you're seeing shots of that right now, uh, very just special, intimate, uh, and, and beautiful um, yeah, experience gorgeous. for folk to, folks to walk through there. Again, I wish we could just open the doors for... 10 million people to come in here and just kind of get this all up close and personal. 10 million people <laughs> 10 might million. be Why a little not? more than, our, yeah, it, it, than this venue can handle. That's right. The fire marshal may have an issue or two <laughs> with that. But um, it really is something else. And hopefully these, uh, these clips here give you a little bit of a taste of what was in store here tonight at the PlayStation E3 Showcase. And Sid, we sneakily got a few more folks in here to join Again? us for the program. Again? I know, and specifically to talk about those little interstitials that we were seeing during our showcase. And it's my great pleasure to introduce the Media Molecule. Hi. Matching outfits. Matching. We go. We're so matching, matching. Brands, matching. You know, yes, <laughs> cool. Welcome to the program. Thank, Thank you, you for having, having us. us. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's crazy. It is our great pleasure. I do want, so I want to point out, and correct me if I'm wrong, the little interstitials we were seeing were all created inside dreams they that's were. right that's yep, right so yep. so we we just were we had no idea what they were going to be shown with the games <laughs> <laughs> so you know resident evil and then we get to do a little trumpet yeah, yeah. 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 And then like, yes. celeries, and then it's death stranding no greater wine pairing <laughs> yeah and the resident evil and the fart trumpet oh, there we go truly, truly i mean yeah. and we had the final word right the orange drummer yeah we need to give these guys names if any of your viewers want to name our fruit that would be That'd awesome. Be great. But yeah, it was really fun because like the thing about dreams is it's really fast to create these little sort of stories and games. And so when we got the opportunity to do something fun for the press conference, it just felt like such Why a not? good, you know, like yeah, to do something yeah. musical and sort of something that kind of showed off the We're playful nature. We're teasing something yeah. with that actually. We are teasing oh. something. Oh. We are. Yeah. There is a there's, tease there's, in there's the method in the madness. There is yeah, a, a nice palate cleanser in between each of those, and yeah. it kind of kept everybody on their toes. Right. But I actually want to zero in a little bit more on the create mode. Right, that right, you yeah. guys are working on. And this is something that is, uh, well, quite frankly, it's, it's absolutely female. astonishing. Uh, okay, so, so, so I mean, innovative here. I mean, we're showing this at E3. It's so exciting for us. We're, we're demoing it on the show floor. We've got um, press uh, hands on. So I think uh, dr dreams, you can create anything. Literally, people ask me, like, can we make um, games? Can we make movies? And the answer is always yes. And in fact, tonight we're going to be doing a live music show <gasps> and made puppet, in dreams. Yeah, yeah. And awesome. Show. Yeah. Okay. I was about to say, are you going to play music live? Yep. Yes, we are. Gonna we play are. Tonight, yes. and hopefully we'll find but a way to get it out onto <laughs> the internet. <laughs> we're guys. debuting our new band, The Molecules. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. yeah. And, the and they are literally <laughs> <gonna be> <laughs> 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 perfect. They will be using the create tools that you're watching yeah. right now to yeah. perform a 15-minute live gig. I don't think 
anyone knows about this, even uh, the people out there in the garden haven't oh, realized yet. We're so, uh, spoiling it yeah. for the folks at home. Yeah, yeah. man, oh. it's, uh, uh, it's, it's gonna be big. It's, and I, I just want to point out is the footage that the folks at home are seeing right now. Yeah. Yeah. The the seamless nature of the kind of create and the play, you know, functionality right. of dreams is it cannot be overstated. Yeah, I mean it's like it's super easy. Even if you don't think that you're a game creator, even if you've never thought about game designing, if you if you've played games, you can do this. If you can play a platform game, if you can play our story, then you can do this. You can create your own, you can upload and then you can share incredible levels in like 10 minutes. We're, we're doing a demo this, uh, this week at E3 where we create gameplay for a whole level in like 20 minutes, including music. You can compose your own music. Awesome. You can do the gameplay. You can animate. You can record voiceovers. The whole whole thing uh. on a PlayStation. And just the to clarify, sorry to interrupt, is, is this two people both playing it is, at once? Yep. Oh. Yeah, it's co-op, so we're showing the co-op co gameplay. Multiple yep, controllers, yep. you can um, jam together. And um, it's quite funny because one of you can be testing and then another one can be getting the jump height right or whatever it is. It's amazing. Yeah, it's cool. It's, I just love it. Dreams, and I literally haven't even touched it yet. Yeah, well, come over. Yeah, yeah, thank <laughs> you so much. <laughs> yeah, um, but the idea really has been like what you're seeing is really this easy nature of just like picking and placing. Because yeah. I think one of the things that um, sometimes people get, get scared of like the idea of the blank canvas, but actually, what I love about Dreams is it's just this idea of just choice. Like every day, people make choices. You, you put your clothes on, you might choose where you put a poster in your on, in your bedroom. Yeah. And Dreams is very like that. All you're really doing is like here you're seeing like the sort of Instagram effect. You can take a scene and change be able to very quickly change it so that it looks right, really right. different and you're adding your own mark. And then the piece de resistance is that all of this stuff which gets made gets uploaded and if you just want to sit back on your sofa and enjoy an unending stream of madness of the PlayStation 4 players uh, creations you can and we sort of present it to you in a stream of of who knows what it's going to be like. I mean, that's what's so exciting. You know, the, the beta is coming this year, so uh, we will be starting to see what the creativity of PlayStation gamers really means for Dreams. That's excellent. A beta coming this year for it Dreams. Is. That's yes. right. And, uh, you know, I've said this before, I'll say it again about Dreams. Uh, in my maybe 20 years of being in the industry, I've never seen anything so oh, thank you. just well. uh, innovative and progressive and just potentially just game changing. So, thank you. Hats off thank to you. you. I mean, this must have been an yeah. absolute labor of love. It, it really is. is, yeah. It's big the molecules gone mad. It is, yeah. And big cheers to the team. <laughs> <laughs> We've gone mad. <laughs> big cheers to the team back home because, you know, people have really put their hearts and souls into dreams yeah. to really get it to the point where you are moving between these different disciplines. And right now we have a studio that jams together in a way they've never jammed together before. Yeah. We have, like, musicians actually just jamming with animators to actually make animation. And I think that's one of the things we're really starting to see is these different workflows. And that just, you know, that's been one of the things we've really wanted to get that right. So I can't wait to see like people create all different types of genres of games and yeah. really almost like just come up with completely new ways of playing. I think yeah, we're, I mean we're showing some of that E3. Liam made a text adventure and we're like, what? You can do that's a text? Crazy. I didn't even know you could do that. Wow. I mean, that's, that's like, like that's amazing. I, know, yeah, amazing. I, I mean, we saw what uh, the community did with Little Big Planet. Right. Yeah. Right. And now imagine if you just like by a Googleplex, multiply the functionality, exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so raise it to the millionth power. Specifically and that. It's yeah. unbelievable, and I want to thank both of you for coming by. Yeah, Congratulations. Well, thank you very much for having us. Thank you so much. And uh, we're, I can't wait to see more of this Stay thing. tuned more for more on The Geek later on. All yeah. right. Thank you, guys. We'll hear and, more. And thank Sid, you. I think uh, we had a couple of VR games. We and, did. Uh, you know, take that a look at up. those earlier this uh, We this did. Evening. We had Trover Saves the Universe, which was announced during the showcase, and we had uh, some great stuff, Tetris Effect, uh, earlier in the week as part of Countdown to E3 and a lot of other great stuff too. So let's take a look at the latest from PlayStation VR. I'm sorry, I panicked. I've never seen anything like it before.
going to block out the sun, the least you could do is fetch me some cooler. Now it's just a taste of what is coming to PlayStation VR, and uh, I want to point out really quickly, Creed Rise to Power, boxing game using two moves on douche, VR. Douche. One of the most intoxicating experiences I've oh, had really? in VR. Yeah. Okay. It almost felt like boxing is like the perfect fit for the VR medium, because you got the leaning, you can oh, dodge. Oh, oh gosh. I'm gonna, I'm going all over, over here. Here. Oh, God. <laughs> I was in danger for a second. <laughs> I'm, I, I have to give a quick shout out to bathtub guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that let's just best. let's just put one out there for bathtub guy. <laughs> awesome. I hope I hope that seven one one gets yeah, one really seven one one yeah. squanch. Yeah. And also squanch. remember, you know, earlier in the week, you know, uh, Ben Studio gave us a look, another look at Days Gone they and their release date. They did February twenty second. Outstanding, very yes. good stuff. So let's talk a little bit about the venue we've got here. It takes a, an army practically to create <laughs> the kind of experience that we had here tonight for members of the press and community. So want to talk a little bit about that uh, and well, actually rather than talk about. Let's just show it. We have a, a great video that shows how it was all put together. Just a really cool look there at what it took to create this experience here tonight. And thank you to everybody who was involved, to everybody who watched. But we're just getting started here, actually. This is still, we have a lot more to come this week. Um, we are here at the showcase. We're seeing a little footage of that right now. But tomorrow, we Ooh. are going to move to the LA Convention Center and E3 proper, where... At live.playstation.com? Well, I mean... Oh, in Los Angeles? PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I didn't know what I was supposed PlayStation to say. PlayStation Live for me 3. Oh, okay, yes. You know the thing you worked on. Yeah, the thing that I worked on, but I didn't know what the quest is. <laughs> Brian, uh, you packed the schedule. Yeah, you yeah. made You've got a lot of great yeah. games, so, a lot of great tons of guests. content. Want to apologize to all the crew, <laughs> but I appreciate all the help that they're going to put us on. But yeah, starting at 11 a.m. Pacific yep. tomorrow, that's on Tuesday, we're yep. going to be starting uh, our big PlayStation Live for me 3. Um, oh, and here's a little here's bit of the schedule, schedule okay, here. Let's schedule. Let's let's analyze this closely here. Uh, oh, <laughs> Look Spyro, at Spyro, that's Look at good. This. People are going to be into Ooh, that. Concrete Genie. I'm actually yeah. really excited to get a little closer look at that one, too. More Spar uh, more Marvel Spider-Man, mm -hmm. Kingdom Hearts, Resident you Evil can... 2, Resident Evil 2. Yeah. Excellent. If it look was amazing and potentially on the showcase this evening, chances are we're going to take a look at it again uh, tomorrow right. and Wednesday. A we deeper, have a closer look at a it. A deeper, closer look. Death right. Stranding panel. That's right. You will only end with more questions. Further questions. More <laughs> and let's take a look at Wednesday while we're at it here. We've got a lot of going on on Wednesday, starting off with a lot of VR. Yes, so starting at 10 a.m. Pacific on Wednesday morning, you are going to see over an hour of PlayStation VR content. Again, we are going to go rapid fire on that, so <laughs> hosts, please be prepared. <laughs> uh, we're going to be talking about Tetris Effect, Ghost Giant, Creed, Vacation Simulator. That's a fun one. I've Ooh. got a chance to try that, yeah. And Firewall Zero Hour. There is a lot to look at. And then, of course, leading through the rest of the day all the way till 5 p.m. We have a ton of great games coming up, amazing interviews, and a lot more for folks watching at home. Again, you can continue watching live.playstation.com for yep. all that. Uh, or Twitch. Or Twitch. Twitch.tv slash PlayStation mm -hmm. or YouTube.com slash PlayStation. Don't make me go through the whole list. There's so many. There's so many. Just come back and watch. That's yeah. right. Come back yeah. and <laughs> watch. We've got a lot more going on starting tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Pacific time. But to all of you out there who watched us here tonight and watched the PlayStation E3 <laughs> showcase, whether you were in your home, on your phone, or in a theater uh, somewhere in the United States, Latin America, or Canada, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>
doing good, bud. <laughs> 